Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to talk about dressing in modesty and keeping ourselves covered up. You know, the Bible speaks of us dressing in modesty and I believe it's our responsibility as children of God, as women of God, and as ambassadors of Christ that we should always want to dress and we should always want to present ourselves in a modest fashion. I didn't know anything about dressing in modesty when I first got saved. I didn't know that. I wanted to actually dress in a very sexual and appealing way. And even after being saved, I still wanted to dress my own way. But after coming into the revelation knowledge of dressing modestly, I really, really, it has really sunk in. And I really want to share with you all, you know, a couple of pieces of clothing of dressing in modesty. You know, this is for young women, older women, and single women, married women, you know, it's for all of us, you know, because I really truly believe it's our responsibility, you know, to dress in a modest way. You know, some men are coming out of a world of pornography when they're coming into the church. Some men are battling the spirit of lust even in the church, you know, so I really believe that we should really take a hold of dressing in modesty because we don't want to be the cause of anybody falling. You know, yes, the Bible says to come as you are, but you know, we should not remain that way. You know, the word of God, the washing of the word is really, really going to help us and it's going to give us that revelation. You know what? I shouldn't be dressing like that. You know, I can remember it was a time that I really just wanted to dress my own way. You know, I wanted to show my curves and everything that God has given me. Well, what I, but what I truly believe now is that, you know, even dressing in modesty and covering up, I believe that's even sexier than anything, you know, of showing your body and letting everything just hang out and stuff like that. Because, you know, I didn't know at the time. The Bible says for the older women to take the younger women under their wing and show them the right way. You know, I don't want to look like the world. I want to do everything that my Father in Heaven says to do. I want to please Him. I want to do it the godly way. I want to do it the righteous way. I want to do it the holy way. I want to be holy. I want to be an example. Our bodies are... Uh, you know, our bodies are a reasonable sacrifice unto the Lord, you know, so let's do it that way. And also that we would allow God not to just clean the outside, but that he will really, really do a work on the inside of all of us. That everything that's on the inside of us, that God will do a mighty work and it will automatically manifest itself outwardly. So as much as we do the outwardly uh, thing to make sure that we're, you know, completely you know, showing the holiness of outwardness, but that he, that we would have that inwardness, holiness within us also. That the work that is shown on the outside would be even greater of what's done on the inside of each of us. And this isn't to pass judgment on anybody out there. This is to really show you all, you know, the way that God will show us to do it. You know, some people may say, well, I can't afford certain pieces. You know, I can't. But you know what? I shop at the thrift store, you know. I shop at the thrift store and I find really good pieces there at the thrift store. You know, it's all about dressing in modesty. We don't want to be a cause of a brother falling in grace because the Bible says that, you know, lust, to look at a woman with lust, you have already committed adultery in your heart. And guess what? Lust isn't just a man thing. It's women that are battling the issue of lust also and battling that spirit also. So, you know, we want to make sure that we are dressing in an appropriate, presentable way, especially in the house of God. This is one of the outfits that I want to share with you all. And I have a few more pieces that I want to bring in and share with you all also. Okay? God bless you all. Be blessed. And I hope you enjoy this video. And I hope it really does minister to you. God bless you. And they was just worshiping. And everybody was dancing, worshiping. And I looked at the up front, you know, down this part. And, and uh, you know, everybody was, you know how everybody just get to dancing up? And I, I said, I, I looked at the sisters down front, and I said, they know what they're doing. All these sisters in the front had on the, I think he called the body, body con. Had the body con dresses, you know, and they pray like they act like they're in the spirit, but the, the booties is jiggling. And then the whole front row is full of brothers. And I said, and, and, and I'm sitting there immediately. I said, they know what they're doing. I said, now the pastor should have said, stop it. Stop the music. 
Because Satan has done this through the music. Through the music. Stop all the music. And don't rebuke necessarily the girls up front. Rebuke the mothers. The church mothers that used to regulate that. Why do you feel comfortable with this? You need to grab this young girl, take her to the back, and talk to her about how she presents herself in front of men of God. See, it's offensive to me. When you come around me, my wife will jump on you for that, but it's offensive to me because I don't want no harlots in my face. Don't be trying to tempt me. Well, if the men wasn't lustful, well, if a man stood her naked, you gonna be lusting too. This is the reason why the flesh stays covered. The Bible says no flesh glories in my presence. The flesh stays covered. Did y'all hear what I said? Whores reveal their flesh. The flesh of women of God stays covered. No man should see what he hasn't paid for with his life. I ain't talking about 40, 50 dollars. Talking about a ring in his heart and his life. No man should see that. Talk back to me. Do not prostitute that daughter. I Meaning you have a responsibility to let her know how she should look. You brothers is married. That's a responsibility that you have as a man to guide and correct. Because your woman so that she becomes the spotless, unblemished that the Bible says she's supposed to be. So you are responsible. If you're going to correct them, you can't be cheap. Your sister should have said You know about since two dresses in 10 years and you would, she done gained five, six pounds as, and you still expect her? No, you got to spend some money, brother. Amen. Spend some money. But the point is, is that your job as a man is to look at her and, you know, because that's your thing. So therefore, when she comes out, you, because you a man and you know what men look at. And you want to make sure that ain't no brother going to be looking and stumbling over your woman. Say amen. Or your daughter. So you be honest as the man that you are because you know what your eyes fight. The last thing you want is somebody lusting your woman. 